Therapists love talking about coping skills, but how do you know if they're working? I'm going to share with you my three-step process so you... Today, I'm sharing my three-step process, including a bonus question that you can ask to know if they're working for you. Hey friend, welcome back. My name is Mallory Grimsey, and I am a teen therapist licensed to practice in the state of Connecticut. I am here to help you build confidence and to know that you're not alone. We are in this together. So you already know that I love talking about coping skills. And if you need a little refresher about them, you can go ahead and watch the video right up here. So first of all, let's make sure we're on the same page about what it means when we say a coping skill is working. So a lot of people make the mistake of thinking that a coping skill makes everything better. And that's just not true. Coping skills are working when your emotional intensity is not rising or getting worse. Problem solving is a whole other skill set, and we can't even access that part of our brains until our emotions are at a more manageable level. So here's my three-step process to know if coping skills are working for you, and stick around to the end, I'll be sharing a bonus question. Step number one is just noticing that you're experiencing an intense emotion. Now, if you can name it, awesome. You're already a step ahead. If you can't, that's totally okay too. Sometimes when we're feeling so overwhelmed or uncomfortable, it's hard to put a name on the experience. But even if you can't name it, while you're noticing that intense, uncomfortable emotion, make sure you give it a rating on a scale of 0 to 10, where 10 is the most intense and 0 is not at all. Now don't skip this first step because you're going to need it later. Step number two, use whatever coping skill feels good for you. I obviously want you to make sure that it's a healthy coping strategy. Step number three is after you've used that chosen coping strategy, go ahead and check in with the intensity of that emotion again. So again, using that zero to 10 scale, where zero is not at all, and 10 is the most intense you could ever experience of that emotion, go ahead and read it. Did it go down? Yeah! Your coping skill worked. Did it stay the same? Woo! It also worked. Did it get worse? Try again. And if it keeps getting worse or it's getting too uncomfortable where you can't even think about using a coping strategy, make sure that you are reaching out to a safe, supportive adult or call a crisis line in your area. Make sure you keep repeating this process. Coping skills are not a one and done sort of a thing. And sometimes it takes using multiple coping strategies to get that intensity way down. Our emotions change over time and coping skills help us hang in there while time is doing its job. If you want even more ways to start feeling better today or how to help your friends who are struggling with mental health, make sure you watch the video on your screen right now. Wait a minute. I didn't forget about your bonus. Thanks for sticking to the end. So here is your bonus question to ask to help know if coping strategies are working for you. Any healthy coping strategy can actually turn into an unhealthy one if we over or under use it. So make sure along the way you're also checking in, is this coping strategy helping or hurting? So please make sure that you watch, comment, and share this video with anyone else who needs it. Thanks for watching.